Okay, hello, good day, grade 12. So today we would be discussing problems on work energy theory. So the first problem is a 17 newton force is applied horizontally to a 10 kilogram block at rest for a displacement of 200 meters across a frictionless surface. How much work is done by the force? What is the final kinetic energy? And how fast is the block moving? What is the acceleration of the of the block in the horizontal direction and lastly use kinematics to calculate the final speed of the block okay first let us draw um, what is the situation all about so we have here on a surface we have a block which has a mass of 10 kilograms and then we apply a force horizontally applied force which is equals to 70 newtons okay so the displacement of the box from its original position is 200 meters okay and uh, it is a frictionless surface first unknown is how much work is done by the force so para malaman natin lahat ng unknowns natin isulat muna natin yung mga derived equation natin from our previous discussion so we have m net is equals to or work network is equals to delta ke okay we also have from this so ke final minus ke initial so we also have equation for kinetic energy which is one half mv squared and also we have for work f d cosine theta okay so since na list down na natin lahat ng equations natin pwede na natin mahanap yung unknown using this equation so the first unknown is the work done by the force okay so simply we could use this equation f d so applied force is 70 newtons and the displacement of the block is 200 meters okay so work done by 70 newton is equals to 14 thousand newton meter or 14 thousand joules or simply 14 kilojoules okay so that is for letter a okay next we proceed for letter b okay we are finding the final kinetic energy okay so pwede natin gamitin yung delta ke okay so so delta ke ke final minus ke initial okay so um since ang sabi ng problem natin the object or the block is at rest so yung initial kinetic energy niya would be equals to zero okay so ang network natin is equals to 1400 or 14000 joules so in substitute na natin and then we're going to find the kinetic um final kinetic energy so it is just simply equal to 14000 joule okay again let me rewrite kinetic energy final is equals to 4000 or 14000 another joule okay next we have how fast is the block moving so we're finding the velocity of the block okay so how can we find the velocity of the block so we could use the equation for kinetic energy so one half mv squared okay so we know that the kinetic energy final is 14,000 joule okay is equals to one half the mass of the object is 10 kilograms okay and then we can find the velocity squared Okay, so if we uh, divide both sides by 5 kilograms, kasi multiply na natin to, okay, 1 half times 5, or 1 half times 10 is 5, okay, and then square root ng expression dito sa ating left part, okay, we could find velocity which is equals to 52.9 meters per second. Also, uh, this is the speed of the block or yes based on its motion next we have the acceleration 
Okay, how can we find the acceleration? So, simply, uh, pwede natin gamitin yung Newton's second law of motion, where F, where first force is equals to mass times acceleration. Okay, di ba given naman tayo ng force na 70 newtons, tapos alam natin na 10 kilograms yung mass ng object, okay, we could find acceleration. So, divide both sides by 10 kg, okay? So, acceleration is equals to 7 meters per second squared, okay? So, now, we're up to our last unknown, uh, where we're going to use kinematics to calculate the final speed of the block. So, let me erase this part. Okay, so, hinahanap natin yung final speed ng block. So, ano kaya yung pwedeng equation na gagamitin natin para mahanap natin yung final speed. So, we could use um, this equation, F, uh, Vf squared, is equals to V0 squared plus 2AD. Okay, so yung final velocity yung hinahanap natin, so Vf squared is equals to V naught squared. Okay, so initially at rest, so this is 0 squared plus 2 yung nahanap nating acceleration kanina, which is 7, and the displacement of the object, which is 200. If we find the square root of both sides, we could get the answer for the final speed, which is equals to 52.9 meters per second. Okay? So, that is for our uh, first problem. Now, we're up to our second problem. How much work is required to accelerate a 100 or a 1500 kilogram car from 15 meters per second to 40 meters per second? And what is the average net force acting on the car if it reaches 40 meters per second while traveling at a distance of 275 meters? Okay, so let us write of all of our givens. Okay, so we have a ma the mass of the car which is uh, 1,500 kilogram and then um from so v or uh, not to which is equals to 15 meters per second to vf which is 40 meters per second what is the average net force when it re reaches um uh, 40 meters per second and then the distance of uh 275 meters Okay, so let us find the unknown first. Let's start with letter A. So, we're finding the work. So, we could use here since we know that um, there are two points, point 1 and point 2. So, kailangan natin consider yung starting point at saka final point. Okay, so, uh, kasi during these points, pwedeng magkaroon tayo ng different values ng, ng work. So, we're going to find... Uh, the network, okay, nung ating uh, car. Okay, so in finding the network, pwede natin gamitin yung delta KE kasi wala naman tayong given na force and yung may equation lang na may given na velocity is yung um, kinetic energy. Okay, so KE F minus KE initial. Okay, so one half mv f okay squared minus one half mv not okay. Gawin na natin to not para consistent tayo squared. Okay, so pwede nating e extract yung same uh, mass and one uh, and half of it and then uh, just enclose in the parenthesis v f squared minus v not squared and then substitute the given so one half 1500 okay multiply by uh, 40 squared minus 15 squared okay so if we're going to key in this to our calculators we could find the value of our network which is 1000 700 or 1,375 joules. Okay? Now, we're up to getting
Okay, the, uh, my mistake, this should be 1.0313 times 10 raised to positive 6 joule or equals a 1.0313 mega joule. Okay, so next. Proceed na tayo sa letter B. We're finding the average net force acting on the car if it reaches 40 meters per second while traveling at a distance of um, 275. Okay? So, pwede natin dito gamitin yung... Hanapin uh, muna natin yung... Net force. Okay, so since net force yung hinahanap natin, pwede natin gamitin yung uh, network is equals to F net. Okay, sorry. This should be F net times okay, displacement. Okay, so yung alam na natin yung net rate is equals to 1.0313 times 10 raised to positive 6. So, ang unknown natin is F net and then the displacement of the object is 275. So, divide both sides by 275. So, we'll be getting, okay, net force, okay, which is equals to 350 newtons, okay. So, we, we also have um, another way in solving the net force using uh, laws of kinematics or equations from our kinematics. Okay, so pwede muna hanapin natin yung acceleration and then Newton's law of motion. Okay, so this is the second way. So finding first the acceleration. So yung acceleration ng object natin, uh, we could get that using the equation Vf squared is equals to V naught squared plus 2AD. So, V naught squared. Okay. So, Vf squared is equals to V naught squared plus 2AD. Okay. So, given naman tayo ng mga final at initial velocity. So, this is 40 squared is equals to 15 squared plus 2. Okay. We're going to find the acceleration and using the distance of 275. Okay. So, rearranging this, so we could get the value of acceleration, which is equals to 2.5 meters per second squared. Okay? So, once na nahanap mo na yung acceleration, para mahanap mo yung net force, pwede mong gamitin yung uh, Newton second law of motion, where F is equals to MA, okay? Or F net is equals to mass times acceleration. So, yung mass ng object natin, alam natin, it is equals to 1,500 kilograms. Okay? Si acceleration na compute natin, 2.5 meters per second squared. So, we could get F net multiplying this two, which is equals to 307 or 3,750 newtons. Okay? That is the other way in solving or in finding the net force.